Let's look at some of the molecular orbitals involved in forming multiple bonds. So when we have a carbon that's sp2 hybridized, and I've drawn one here, I have three equivalent sp2 orbitals. And I have a model that looks like that here. The three bonds here at 120 degrees from each other are sp2 hybrid orbitals. Now, sp2 hybrids leave behind one p. sp2 hybrids are formed from an s and two p's. So there's an unchanged p orbital that I represented here by this plus minus lobe. So a p orbital left over, the z axis here, and say a py orbital left over after the hybridization. So if I'm going to bond two sp2 hybridized carbons together, they can come together and form molecular orbitals from their hybrid sp2 orbitals and bond together. So that's what I've drawn here. I have one sp2 hybridized carbon. Here's another sp2 hybridized carbon. And the p orbital that's still there. I'll form a sigma bond between the two carbons. The sigma bond will be formed from the overlap of an sp2 orbital on one carbon and an sp2 orbital on the other carbon. Those two atomic hybrid orbitals will form a sigma bonding and antibonding molecular orbital. So two atomic orbitals, both of them sp2, form two molecular orbitals, a sigma bonding and antibonding orbital. Now the p orbital left over can overlap to form a pi bond, a second bond. And remember, pi bonds are bonds that are above and below the internuclear axis, usually formed by p orbitals. So a pi bond can be formed here by, I have an overlap of the sp's, then the p orbitals, I'm going to make the bond with my fingers, there. There's the sp sigma bond, and now the p orbitals can overlap and form a bond above and below the axis, a second bond. So I'll have a sigma and a pi bond. The first bond formed between atoms is always sigma. Other bonds are pi. So this pi bond will be formed from py orbitals, and I'll form a pi bonding and antibonding. So let's look at that. Here is ethylene with only one of the bonds drawn in so far. And we're saying a sigma bond formed from the linear combinations of the sp2 hybrid orbitals on each carbon. And then sigma bonds to the hydrogens formed between the sp2 on the carbon and s orbitals on the hydrogen. The second bond being a pi bond formed from the overlap of py and py on the two carbons. So multiple bonds, a sigma and a pi bond, formed from a combination of hybrid orbitals and leftover p orbitals on carbon.